If you guys want to get the latest by from bypassing undetected Windows Executor, in this video I'll be showing you number one, how to get the free Valix Executor, number two, how to open it and install it safely, and three, how to use all the features like their spoofer to make it undetected. And to get started, you guys are going to want to head to the first link in the description and scroll down on this page, guys, until you see this blue download button. Of course, you want to download it, right? But before you do anything, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your computer's antivirus. And we're going to need to first off disable it to prevent false positives. I know, no, you might be saying, yo, 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 that is sounds a little bit sus. Why would I need to turn off my antivirus, bro? Like, that's supposed to protect me against viruses. Well, yes, that's correct. But because of how Roblox executors, or in fact, any exploits on computers work, they have to inject into the game's code and change it from the exploit side. And computers think that's a little strange because that's not typically how softwares work. But for exploits, it is completely normal, and that's called a false positive so in order to bypass that all we got to do is go to our defender then go to virus and threat protection then guys scroll down on this page until you see virus and threat protection settings then click on manage settings and on real-time protection turn that off just like that and now we are good to continue but if you guys go to this page and it says antivirus managed by something else or it doesn't let you turn it off, that means you most likely have another antivirus on your computer. So in this case, all you gotta do is go to your YouTube and search up how to completely disable and put your antivirus's name. Then you will get a bunch of results on how to do it for your antivirus in particular. But now that we got that done, we can open up this page again. Dude, I can't even move, yo, my bubble box is like, having 10,000 ping. What is going on? All right, I'm done with this. Gear up, let's lock in. Bro, now I'm locked in. I only have 80 ping. Oh, we can steal all this. Yeah, no, your pets are mine. I'm taking this from my own home. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, that high ping saved me, bro. Even though Gear Up Booster can't save me from Robloxians beating me with a bat, it can stabilize your internet network and improve your ping significantly. With just one click of a button, you're able to boost your game and there is no setup required, just as you saw. I just open it, click turn on, and I'm ready to steal all these brain rots. And they've also been in a partnership with TSM, yeah, the gaming organization, and a lot of other professional players in esports also use it. So if you've ever wished you could just live right next to the Roblox servers, then you can now basically do that with Gear Up Booster and significantly improve your ping for your best gaming performance. So for the rest of my video, I'm going to be using Gear Up Booster to make sure there's going to be zero lag problems. So check out my link in the first page of my description or in the pinned comments below and use my code SOCKPOT to get a free trial. That's right, free. So let me know in the comments below, guys, how much you're paying improved before and after using Gear Up. And let's continue with the video and click on download. But make sure X out of the pop-ups, guys. But once it successfully downloads, it will give you a notification that says something like this, valix underscore executor dot zip. And that is the correct thing, guys. If it's an exe, if it's called something else, and not valix underscore executor do not run it instead try to re-download it because you might have downloaded an advertisement or something wrong so make sure it's a zip and it's valix underscore executor but with that out of the way you can see it says dangerous download blocked what does that mean once again another false positive guys so in order to continue you just got to do Control and j on your keyboard then you will see all your downloads on this downloads page just like this and at the top you should see valix so all we got to do is go to these three dots and then go click on download dangerous file once again this is a false positive so it's not actually dangerous the browser's antivirus just believes it is and it will give you one more warning so just click on download dangerous file once more and boom you are set so then click on show in folder and in my case it's in my download so let me go ahead and move this to my desktop and then all you guys got to do is right click on it and then click on extract files then on the prompt that it gives you just just click OK, all the default settings are good, and then you will see a folder that extracts. Now, if we open that, you guys will see all the executor files and, of course, Valix itself. So it's the bottom process, or it'll be a red V. So all we gotta do is double click on it. Then, if it gives you a prompt,
prompt that says something along the lines of Windows protect your PC or blocked running program. All you gotta do is click on more info and then click on run anyway. Then on the admin prompt, click yes, and it will open up successfully. Now you guys will see a bunch of tabs open like the key system and of course the premium store where you guys can buy a lifetime premium keyless license. Once again, this is not necessary. This is just if you want a keyless experience, they have it available for you guys. But for us to do it for free, we're gonna do the key system. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So you'll be brought to this first step and all we gotta do here is scroll down on this page guys until we see go to destination. Click on it, then wait 10 seconds. Once those 10 seconds are up, click on continue with ads and then you guys scroll down once more and go to destination again. And then it'll bring you to this page here and all you gotta do is wait for this bottom bar to finish loading. Then all we gotta do is click on that little green bar and we gotta do these offers now guys. So what you can do is accept an offer and just do it or what you can do is also just click decline a bunch of times and then go to destination. And boom, just like that, we finished the first checkpoint. Now we are on checkpoint two and we are given the option to get a lifetime key or we can do the next checkpoint and in our case that's what you guys should do now if there's any pop-ups like this just x out of it and you'll be brought to the checkpoint too now let's scroll down on this page guys go to destination wait the 10 seconds and then scroll down once more to the go to destination and wait for this bar to load and then click on the green bottom and decline all of these offers or accept them in this case it looks like the second checkpoint we actually do have to accept so all you guys got to do is accept boom if you already done it you know it will automatically accept it but if you haven't then you will have to do it and in our case we do have to actually install opera and you guys just have to run the installer pretty simple just download it real quick and of course you can uninstall it after you finish this key system and boom it looks like opera has now finished installing so all we got to do now is just wait for working to process our completion and then you guys will be brought to the final checkpoint where we can now do the last step once again click out of any pop-ups and you'll be brought to the third work ink you guys just have to do the same process so let me go ahead and do it and boom guys once you have completed it it'll bring you to the actual key and now you guys have to copy this license then what i suggest you guys do is you just make a new txt document just put it key doesn't really matter what you name it just so you can save this actual license key in case you close it and you need to pull it back up later but once you've done that and you've entered it into the executor you will see this and you guys have been so patient waiting so all you gotta do now is launch roblox so once you guys are in your game just click on that little syringe button that says inject and if you give it a second this not injected status into injected just like that and now we are ready to execute a script so let me go ahead paste this one click run to actually execute it and it will load up instantly just like that and valix is one of the best performing executors out right now on windows guys and best part on top of all of that is the fact that it is completely free you guys can select some seeds to buy, turn on auto buy seeds. There we go, we got some carrots. Now let's go ahead, auto plant them, of course. Boom, auto plant, and we got those seeds planted now. And then we can go ahead and auto harvest them. But first off, let me show you one of the first sections of Valix's menu, which is the cloud script hub. And here, if you guys don't have your own scripts, like this one, for example, if you don't have one, then all you gotta do is search it up here, grow a garden, boom. And you guys can get a bunch of scripts for the game that you want additionally you have a settings menu with tons of customizability so first off what I like to do is turn on top most and what that does is it makes it so when I click back on Roblox the executor doesn't just disappear it stays on screen that way I can mess around with the settings as I like additionally you have things like opacity boom a mini map on the scripts section here and you can disable resizing because right now Valix has full custom resizing support that way you guys can you know write your scripts very comfortably if you're trying to code or do whatever other things you can just turn that off that way you don't accidentally resize it if you're not going to use it additionally we do have the spoofing section to make your game undetected but first off let me go into a different game where i can show you some more of its capabilities let's go into arsenal here guys let me try out this script and while we're loaded up guys let me show you these spoofers so first off you have the ability to spoof your physical 
physical disks IDs. You can also spoof your GUIDs. You also have a built-in MAC address spoofer, a registered owner spoofer, and a product ID spoofer. So all these features together will make it so you will never get banned across accounts. Now, if you do use Valix, like every other Windows executor right now, there is a chance of the account getting banned. So whatever you do, do not use this on your main account, guys. I'm warning you now, don't do it. You'll get banned, I'm telling you, all right? That's the same with every executor on Windows in the current time in the market, guys. There's just no such thing as 100% Windows undetected executor. But with Valix, you can make sure that your main accounts that you care about will never get banned. Really cool. Additionally, in the general section, you have things like auto inject. So whenever you open Roblox and you got Valix open, it'll just inject along with auto execute. So if you're a serial auto farmer, this is for you. Or things like auto exclude from Defender, which I extremely highly suggest you guys do this if you don't want Valix to break every time you restart your computer. Because what happens is your computer restarts and then your antivirus will automatically turn on. And once your antivirus turns on, then it'll break Valix just because of the false positives once again. And what this feature does is it makes it so it will avoid that auto detection process. That way you don't have to reinstall often. Valix of course has some other pretty cool features for developers such as GitHub linking, GitHub's auto saving and things like that. Once again, only useful if you guys are a script developer, but nonetheless, lots of utility in their executor. So I definitely suggest you guys check it out. Also go get yourself a premium license key from the reseller in the description. One of the most reliable stores with 24 seven support. So if you're ever having an issue, they can fix that instantly. So go check them out and get yourself a premium key in the second link in the description. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below and check out that video right there on another executor video, except on emulators and Android phones, but undetected. So go check out that one guys, or check out that video down there, which is an arsenal script. If you guys are trying to do some crazy aimbotting, flying around ESPing, that's the video for you. But thanks for sticking along till the end and I'll catch y'all in one of those. Bye-bye.